Red howler monkeys don't live on any other Caribbean island. They howl to defend their territories. Red howlers are vegetarians, and with both forest and swamp on their doorstep, they can choose from a wide selection of fruits and leaves. Other monkeys have more sophisticated tastes. The same swamp is home to capuchins. They've learned to come down to swamp level at the right time to snaffle a delicacy. When water levels drop, freshwater conches are left high and dry. Sitting targets for these grab and smash artists. Howlers and capuchins usually live only in South and Central America. And monkeys aren't the only mainlanders on Trinidad. This slow mover is a silky anteater. His giant claw and a gripping prehensile tail help keep his balance as he walks the mangrove tight ropes of the swamp. So what makes Trinidad a haven for all these mainland castaways? The answer lies deep in the island's history. Until as recently as 2,000 years ago, it was part of South America. After the last ice age, rising sea levels gradually cut it off. So Trinidad is now a Caribbean island with a unique legacy of mainland life. Scarlet ibis are found around the deltas of the Amazon and Orinoco rivers. But up to 15,000 also live here in Trinidad's Caroni Swamp. And each evening, they return to roost. The ibis cram onto mangrove islets. Safety in numbers is the best way to make it through the night. Scarlet ibis are one of this island's most colorful spectacles. The other is a highlight of the entire Caribbean. Carnival. Carnival time, music, folklore, creatures mythical and real, all come together for the Caribbean's biggest party. Carnival embodies the true spirit of the Caribbean, a vibrant melting pot of life. The variety of wildlife comes from the variety of the islands themselves.